Hi everyone, this is Mr. Herbst here, and this is the processes that occur in the small intestine. Um, now in my last video I talked about this region right here called the, the duodenum. That is the first part of our small intestine, and I had mentioned that that is pretty much where all of our nutrients are finishing their digestion. Now, all our fats, all our proteins, all, all our carbohydrates pretty much are done being digested at that point. Um, after that point, they will enter the part of the small intestine called the, the jejunum. That's the next part where almost everything will be absorbed. Almost all of our proteins, all of our amino acids, um, all of our, our fatty acids, and, and pretty much everything will end up being absorbed into our blood at that point. Um, then it will pass on into the ileum where the ileum will absorb whatever's left, and it will end up passing into the first part of our small intestine called the cecum. So to review, um, the duodenum pretty much first pretty much handles all of the, the the digestion in our bodies, and the small intestine, the jejunum, and the ileum do all of the absorbing in our bodies. How do they absorb? Well, there are these little projections on the inside of our jejunum and ileum uh, that are called villi. They are little finger-like projections that are really, 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 really small. Uh, this scale right here. Um, represents units that are really, 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 really tiny. Um, you wouldn't be able to see these with your naked eye, but they are so small. But but little little molecules can can attach themselves to the lining of the villi, and they can be absorbed into the, into the blood vessels uh, that are lining uh, uh, lining our, our small intestine. Now th these things here are easily eroded or destroyed by high acidity, which is in my last video why I mentioned that. We need to neutralize the acidity so it doesn't harm these villi and microvilli that are on the lining of our small intestine. Here I have a, a animated computer drawn image of what the villi actually looks like. They are like these little tiny finger like projections and inside each one of those little finger like projections are, are, these, are these veins and arteries um, that will do the absorbing. They will The food and the little molecules will actually be able to cross over uh, all of these cells into our blood cells right here and be absorbed into the rest of our bodies. So here's a really, really zoomed image of um, the of the lining of, of our small intestine. You can see that it's covered with all of these wrinkles and little villi. All of those little villi, um, they will increase the surface area that things can be absorbed on. So even though your small intestine doesn't look like a very big region, it has a lot of surface area, so it can actually do a lot of the absorbing of um, all the food that you eat. So I'm going to go ahead and review the, the process of where the food is going. Uh, it will enter into our stomach. It will enter, our, enter, it will enter into our stomach, and that's called a bolus at that point. But it will leave our stomach as a thing called chyme. That's a liquidy substance right here. You know what, I'll go ahead and draw that in a different color. So that's a liquidy substance right here. And that, that, that stuff will pass into our duodenum. That's this region right here that I'm, that I'm drawing on right now. And that will enter into our jejunum, which is the next part of our small intestine, which is the part that does pretty much all of the absorbing of the nutrients. And it will keep passing through into our ileum and... Uh, or, and things will be absorbed and it will pass into our large intestine. So to review, the jejunum and the ileum will absorb 90 to 95 percent of all the nutrients in our food. Chyme passes into the part of the large intestine called the cecum. In the next video I create, we're going to mention the processes that occur in the large intestine. Well anyway, this has been Mr. Herbst and this was the focus of the processes that occur in the small intestine. I'm signing off folks. You all have a nice day.